Look here! Look, listen! Look like Harambe. <laughs> Fuck that nigga. Just get to it. I can't take this shit no more, man. Hey, everybody. Yeah, I had to had to go chill out. Nah, this stream right here is more for just chilling out. I, I'm i hoping to clear 175 viewers. You know, maybe we'll get a little bit more than that, but who knows. But this is something like I, I, I'm sitting down just to play for myself. Like, this is, this is a game I don't really play on stream that often. And the main reason for it is nobody watches this shit. Hey, $2 Shy Tendencies. What's up, Jordy? You play Destiny 2 PvP? I don't play Destiny 2 at all, man. Joey, since the Switch, is there less troll activity? Not really. I mean, like, the trolling's been pretty much on par with everything else that happens. Do you have a price point where you'd sell your place as the air develops? I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm, since what happened with Twitch, I'm scared to spend money. So, like, it's, so, like, which, you know, kind of, like, thought process right like I, I don't like talking about this stuff because everything is looking at it's like oh pity 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 but one thing I'm afraid of is that I'm going to get into another situation where I like I fall into like a year-long depression and I see myself going down the same route again because last time I had a major like change in my income was you know January 2013 and from like January 2013 to like, I'd say from like the time I had the weight loss surgery, July of 2018, right? I was miserable. And like after I had the weight loss surgery, I lost weight and then I had YouTube popping off again. And you know, I had a couple things going right for me, even though the troll videos were uh, hounding me and over and over and over again. And they eventually got me banned from Twitch. You know, so I've kind of avoid that, but like I, I feel the same thing where like I'm afraid to spend money on anything, and you know, it is what it is, and like I have to like think about it because like I have a wife now, I don't have to just worry about myself. Because normally I just turtle up, and you know, like it, but it, you know, some of my choices make my wife miserable. Like she wants to go out to eat or something like that. I'm like, I'm not going out to eat because I'm trying to spend like less than fifteen dollars a day on food and shit like that. Let's go to just talking. <laughs> All right, kitty cat. Would you use your mint? You use just remember beard. Would you look much more sharp, in my opinion? Maybe. Like the honest thing is, I don't. I'm not taking very good care of myself currently. Um, I actually have been ate fast food this week. I mean, like tonight we had uh, rab uh, lasagna and garlic bread. Like I said before, like I've been really cutting back on spending money. Like I've I've deleted like all my like DoorDash apps off my phone. Um, we've been making basically you know mi little light meals that we can make in microwave and shit like that. TRT wasn't about working out for me, right? TRT stands for testosterone replacement therapy. And for me, it was to increase sex drive, which it wasn't doing. I have low T, um, which Kyle does. I don't know if Kyle has low T or not, but I I have legitimately low T. And I was getting mine through the doctor. And um, there's all kinds of things that you got to do. Foul, I know you... Here's the thing, Foul, man. Modular is a term for manufactured, right? When something is considered modular, it means that they're built in parts and put together at another place. Like a lot of cars are modular, right? They like they build the heads in one place, they build the blocks in another place, they build the piston in another place, and they're all shipped to one place and they're put together. Right? So like when you see see the term like Ford modular V eight, 
That's what they're meaning. And when they say modular house, that means the house they build they build houses on schematics. They put it, they bring them to where you live at, they put them together, and that's where they stay. I don't live in a trailer, I live in a modular home because my house does not move. Right? My like this house has either got to be torn down and something built on in its place or sold as is. It's never going to move. Hey Fallout Fighter, ignore Kyle, he's a moral and shady person. Dude, I don't I don't live my life thinking about what PKA or Kyle are, is doing every day. That's just not how I live my life. Like every day I wake up, my goal is to make that concurrent viewers number be around four or five hundred, make seventy five or more dollars, and go to sleep that night. That's every, that's my whole life. And that there's things I could do to make to push that along. I, granted, I know I'm fucking boring at times, right? And the reason I'm fucking boring at times is because I'm terrified of uh, giving people more ammunition to fight with me. Because like I'm so beat down and destroyed over years and years and years and years of people just making me out to be this fucking you know terrible person. It's like right now, I have three people tell me Google Ford Modular V8. I don't give a fuck. The, t the, the definition I just gave you is correct, regardless if it's not correct for four modular V8. What does the term modular mean? Modular, employing or evolving a module or modules as a basis of design or construction. And it is. What that means is they have a schematic. This is the design. And that's how they're constructed, right? Employing or involving a module or modules as a basis design of construction. Why do I, I play into the character and have a little fun with it? I didn't play into my Wings character and I still got banned on Twitch. If I started taking things over the top, you know how quickly I would get removed from platforms because I have a sea of people that want to see me fail. So I can't give them any, any help on letting them fail. Ban Lieutenant Dan's legs, please. Uh, never kill trees. You're destroying the environment. Trees are a renewable resource, my man. You can plant more trees. It's not something that you just can't ever get back. There's there's ways to do forestation though. Like you don't you don't want to over you don't want to want to overforest a region that causes you know flooding issues and you know land it like land to move and things like that. Look at Easter Island. Look at Easter Island for that. That is a good point that T is making right here. It, do everything in moderation, right? One of the big things I advocate for is own your stuff. Don't let your stuff own you, right? Don't be shackled to the dream that you're searching for, right? Like a, a lot of people go out there and they start small businesses and get $200,000 in debt. And now the dream that they felt like they wanted is now their fucking shackles. They're tied down to this place that they have to make work. They have to go to work to make their truck payment. They have to go to work to make their, you know, trailer payment. Trailer being like something you pull behind or whatever it might be. Things that they thought were going to make their life better, but all they actually did is to make sure they keep going to work. Never, never pay for something that's going that you can't pay that you can't pay for easily. As there's a thing called debt to income ratio, and you should live within your means of debt to income ratio, even when you're trying to rebuild your credit. What's my retirement plan? Um, I was getting into Roth IRAs and money mutual accounts right before I lost my Twitch. So those are on hold right now. But my retirement plan was to invest, it was to accrue, accrue wealth slowly and continually put money away. I was trying to put $1,500 away into my savings account every month. Is retirement a scam? Retirement is not a scam because you know it makes money off the fact that you have to retire. Retirement is different for everybody. I don't know what happened to my overlay. I opened my uh, open my streaming software up today and my overlay had disappeared. No, nah, I'm not going to throw my Twitch partner shirt away. I'll go show it to you. Like I learned the other day that um, what channel was that? Binge Wings? He's actually 14 years old this year. So he was like 12. Sitting there creating a content troll channel on me.
And like that's what like people ask like what happened to a lot of the troll channels? Like a lot of the troll channels are really young children that they grow out of it. And I figured that'd be the case. Like the ones that's kind of hang around right now are like people in their in their 20s and some are just old men. Like there's a couple of the dudes that are like old old men with like families and shit. Have I ever met any of my trolls? I met the one troll that tried to say he wanted to fuck my wife in like a in like a, on like a napkin or some shit. Cuz so I actually what what ended up happening was I was leaving to go do DoorDash. And I came back because I forgot something. I forgot, um, I don't know, there's something in the house I forgot. And I went in the house and got it. And on the way back out, he was on the porch dropping chili off. And he, he like, wrote a note to me talking about how, how he was going to fuck Smelly Kelly and all this other shit. And he was, like, 14 or some shit like that. He had actually had his parents drive him up here. They called him Pepsi Man was what his name was. Dog. Like, they, they lie about me on everything to the point that, like, I'm either the worst person in the world or some of this shit has to be fabricated. Alright. Like, let, let's let's go down the list. Um, I'm a pedophile. I beat my wife. They're saying that I'm in a men now. Now my name is Jeremy. My name's Richard. My name is Sam. What else do I do? Well, I scam children. I defraud, I defraud like, charitable donations. I didn't get the surgery. I got the surgery, but I used the money to buy Mustangs. I used the money to buy my current truck. I used the money to buy my wife's ring. I used the money to buy an iPhone. I used the money to buy fucking ca- an, an iPad Air. Um... My cats don't like me. My dog doesn't like me. I'm on my third fucking dog. You know, like, tax fraud. You know, it's like... I'm All I took from this is I've, I was able to take, you know, $13,500 and stretch that shit out for like eight years and buy very end luxury items with it. Like, just imagine taking... Just imagine buying two Mustangs, a truck, an iPad, and two iPhones... And all these other things with just thirteen thousand dollars. Like I'm a I'm a fucking I'm I'm the king of stretching money at this point. The fucking king. Like the whole Chris Chan thing is fucking sad, right? Like the every part of his life is granted he has some fault in it too, but there's but you're taking advantage of a man that will literally believe that there's two dimensions and there's gods out there that that require you to like piss on your floor and show you like humping your pillow or some shit like that, right? Like people really taking advantage of a man that has severe mental conditions. Like he's he obviously is autistic. He I believe he's undiagnosed schizophrenic. And he ha- and he was born with parents that didn't know, didn't understand the internet age. Like I don't think his parents were actually there for him for the most part. Like, for example, like if you ever look at a Chris Chan video, like the vast majority of his room is nothing but toys. Granted, I have like Pokemon and stuff back there. And like the reason I have the Pokemon and the gaming stuff is because like it's it's background art, right? Like I don't actively play Pokemon anymore, but like it was a part of my childhood, right? Hey, Mason Frosty, thank you for the dollar. <clears throat> But Chris Chan was getting like eight eight hundred to a thousand dollars a month, and he was he was allowed to spend it strictly on toys, right? He has like all kinds of toys and anime figures, and he spent most of his life like you know drawing cartoons and stuff to the point that he made like a GameStop employee because of they changed the color of Sonic's arms. It's like this point, you the parents are at fault, right? Again, like, you're looking at what he's done lately, right? I'm talking about as a whole. Because Chris Chan wasn't having sexual intercourse with his mother for the last, like, 39 years, right? That's just something he did recently, right? There were There's probably a good decade or more of people just bullying him to get him to this point. And there should have been people out there reaching out to him way before this. Because, like, there's just an amalgamation of like a disability check and a social security payment meshed together to create Chris Chan's world and the only only real outside link to the world he has other than like his own magical world of I don't know what it's called whatever the Sonic Chew world is is the, the internet and he had people that pretend that they're his friend and things like that but I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the stream there buds I'm gonna go eat some lasagna hope everybody had a wonderful time tonight Thank you, Wendigoon, for the $60.
Thanks everybody doing super chats. I don't have a list of super chats off the top of my head here, but thank you, Namaste, 30, thank you for the 15, Hunter, Blazer, Costco, boy, thank you for the donations. Thank everybody who hit the super chats up. Appreciate everybody who come out and chilled with me.